Good morning folks. It's another beautiful day in Southwest Trinidad. So this morning I'm taking to the beach this morning. I'm really gonna do a video about the changing coastline of the carcass. Yeah, the carcass shoreline is surely changing, right? Mango in season. Cutlass mango, the few laden cap. Then look at that. Real mangoes. Wow, beautiful day man, thankful to be in the land of the living, beautiful salmon tree right here. Hey, good morning, how are you, you good, you being a good boy, I remember this cow. <laughs> Alright, have a good day. So folks, I'm right here on the beach of the Kaka shoreline. That's Punta de la Renal right here. And what is happening here is that there's a lot of deposition taking place, right? Because this point is kind of sticking out like a snake's head, I will show you all a picture of the map. You will tend to understand why there's a lot of deposition. Deposition means accumulation of silt happening at this point. Atikakas. It's a beautiful morning nonetheless and it's always refreshing to be down by the seaside. A lot of seabirds there, you have the, the fishermen getting their bait as you can see and then they will head out to sea. All right. So folks, I would have walked the, the shoreline of the carcass this morning and I have here a trail of where I walk, right? If you look carefully to the left, you will see that yellow trail that where I have walked the shoreline and you can see clearly on the southern side of the carcass, there's a lot of land given there up to the Punta de la Renal area and then going down to the north, which will be like Constance Estate. There's a lot of erosion happening at that end of the island. So for example, this light dog shown here used to be on the shoreline like 65 years ago. Now it's more than a thousand feet inland. So that's a clear indication of deposition happening at the southern end of the carcass folks. All right. This is evident of deposition happening at the southern end of the carcass. So folks, this is me here walking on the shoreline of the carcass, mapping out what used to be the shoreline. The, the geography has definitely changed, right? So this is me right on the shoreline here walking, right? Hey, morning, what's up? Have some friendly dogs here this morning. Hey, 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 hey. What's up with you guys? Hey, hey, hey. So this trail here is, is what we call a conk. Look at that, look at that, folks. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. It's a conk, folks. Moving towards the shoreline. Hey, give yourself. Okay. Yeah. Have you guys seen this? <laughs> hey, what's up with you guys? You guys having a good day? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So what is happening with the tide now? Now, just a, just a little um, information here on the tide, right? We have semi-diurnal tides here in Trinidad and Tobago, which will mean that in, um, in 24 hours, we have two high tide and two low tide. 
All right, and um, tide really is the vertical movement of water. The difference between tide and current, current, current is the horizontal movement of water, right? So right now we are getting what we call a low fallen tide, fallen tide. Oh, tide is what we call ebbing. Ebbing means that is it is going from low, from high, sorry, to low. And we are getting what we call spring tides now, right? Spring tides is when there's a a big difference in the range of tide between low tide and high tide, and it exposes a lot of the beach. All right. So you know, some people take the opportunity to come and get some of those crustaceans like chip chip and kongs and and crabs and what have you. For some, it's a nice time to come on the beach to take a little walk. All right. So, so I'm gonna post um a, a footage here with um the changing coastline of the carcass. Right. Changing coastline of the carcass, folks. Really is changing, definitely is changing. Morning, morning. Good. Yeah, so it's a beautiful day nonetheless. Um, I'm kind of seeing something here that I probably might bring it to you guys' attention. I don't know if it's a feeding pattern ha frenzy happening here, but this comes is actually. Dragging away this chip chip here. Look at that folks. So I don't know if he's gonna have that for his breakfast this morning. Look at that folks. Look at that. It is actually towing this chip chip towards the, the sea. Probably in an effort to, to probably have it for his breakfast. There's another one right here again. Look at that folks. Yeah, look at that. Amazing, eh? Amazing, amazing, amazing. He's actually taking that chip chip with him. Wow. This is amazing, folks. I'm actually getting the footage of them moving along on the sand here, you know? You guys seen that? You guys seen the movement? Yeah, they're actually moving here. Look at the trail they are creating. They're actually creating a trail here. As you can see, this is one here. And this is the other one right there. Wow. Amazing folks, amazing. All part of nature. Now folks, I'm here to tell you all a little bit about tide right we have two types of tide we have spring tides which happens for full moon and new moon and then we have neap tides which occur twice a month for the first quarter and the last quarter when the sun and the moon are at right angles to the earth this alignment results in weaker tidal force leading to a small difference in tide so you, there wouldn't be any high high tide but and there wouldn't be any low low tides which would ex expose a lot of the beach like is seen here all right so it's important that we know the tide and we know that the tide is the vertical movement of water and the current is the horizontal movement of water all right that's a little lesson here on tide for your information so folks if you look carefully right <coughs> There is evidence of coastal erosion happening here. There, there are trees here that are on the brink of being at the mercy of the, of the high water mark. As you can see here. Look at how much of them has fallen right on the shoreline right here. And a lot of acreage have been lost because of coastal erosion in this area. Look at that. Just a matter of time maybe in about I would say about maybe less than a month time this tree 
might be history. Look at that. So yes, a lot of land erosion has been taken, coastal erosion has been taken place right here at the carcass. And we are on the northern side of the carcass, right? And um, a lot have lost, a lot was lost to this area. So folks, I am here at the northern end of the carcass, right? And this is what we call an out house or a latrine. All going to the sea now, eh? All going to the sea now, folks. These houses here. Look at that. It's a sad story, eh? But it, the coastal erosion is real. Real, real, real in the southern and the northern part of Icacus here. And as you can see, there's a lot of deposition happening on the southern side of Icacus. Very amazing. We have some frigate birds perch right there. Frigate birds. Those are females. The females usually have a, a white patch on their chest. And we have some brown pelicans perch over there. Even this was evidence of the water line that was running out. Well, what, what, what is now a lost village of Constance Estate. So this was running straight out to the sea. Down this way. That direction here. And these are some stone. They were they were huge stones, eh? And um with the with the erosion of the wave, they have reduced almost the pebbles. As you can see, they were huge big boulders from what I could recall, eh? that's like 20 years ago. They have now reduced to kind of like small stones or even pebbles. And this building here used to be like i would say maybe the mechanic shed where they used to um, repair the tractors they had a lot of tractors in the estate back in those days so this is where they repair the tractors and all that see the erosion happening folks look at that this is the sand here the sea sand And this is how it's undercutting here. See how it's undercutting here? If you look carefully, you will see different layers. Just like this. The sand here. Different layers. Asphalt. Coastal erosion, folks. Climate change. What happened here? At the carcass. So this is a clear evidence of the water line. This is a water line here that is running out, water line I guess. Running straight out to where the village was look at that look at that folks look at that so all this area right there going out maybe more than a thousand feet there was a barracks and village and everything else it's all history now folks this is the roadway here asphalt from the roadway on the shoreline right here
but it's still a beautiful place a lot of people come here and they they spend time on the beach it's a beautiful bathing area um, the waters are very nice like during the months of July August September nice clear water all right so I hope that this vlog was um, educational as always and that um, we could just have a little appreciation for uh, the geography of our, our, our um, area which is the Kakas area and um, from Southwest Adventure we we're signing out we say have a good blessed day and um, you can feel free to share this information thank you